In this video, I'm gonna show you how our family's vegetable farm starts all our own seeds in this greenhouse right here. The seeds we'll be planting today are early broccoli, our early cabbage, and some early cauliflower so we can plant them in the fields. We're gonna be seeding the cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower into these trays called 98s, and this is where they will stay. We will not transplant them. The type of soil that we're using is mainly peat moss. We will be putting it in the trays, and then we'll take another tray, and we'll push down on top of it so we have holes for our seeds to drop into. Daniel and I got all the trays filled up that we needed. We're going to be using this cedar. This cedar has exactly as many holes as we need on it for the trays we're doing. And we're going to be starting with cabbage. We're going from youngest season, so 68 day, this artoast, or arto I have no idea how you say it, all the way to this 105 day cabbage that's called Transam. So that's what we're going to be starting with. We're going to be planting this cabbage. Before I turn this cedar on, I'm just going to kind of explain how it works. It's got an on off switch here. That turns it on, and the, the writing is kind of ripped off, but this top hole is exhaust, this bottom is vacuum. So what we do is we turn it on, it's on vacuum, we'll dump the seeds on, and each one of these holes, the seeds get pulled to, and then we'll flip it over, and each hole lines up with one of these holes, and when we turn off the vacuum, it drops the seed right down in. You can see each hole sucks one of the seeds in. And that's how we plant a whole tray really fast. Cedar does a good job of dropping one in each hole. Uh, what Daniel also has on here, and if we look on the back, there's this button. Can you hear that noise? There's a vibrator on this machine. So when Daniel dumps the seeds on, tilts it back, and uses the vibrator, it moves the seeds for him really easily. And while Daniel's planting over there, I'm taking tags and I'm writing them and putting them on our trays. So you can see just like this. And I'm putting the day on there so we know which cabbage we want to plant sooner and when it will be ready faster. Daniel just finished one variety, now we're going to move on to another. So we have a big advantage over most people. We have this greenhouse we're in, it's called a germination greenhouse. It stays anywhere between 70 to 80 degrees, 80 degrees at all times, which is perfect for germinating seeds. We got our first variety already done, we're on to our second variety, and we put them over on this table. There's these little pipes that run underneath, and they probably are about 100 degrees. Hot water is running through them at all times, and that's to make sure even from underneath, the seeds are still at the perfect temperature. And then at night, to make sure again that they stay at that perfect temperature, we'll take plastic and we'll put it over all the seeds that are germinating. 
These are the ones we planted. I'll show you some that we just planted. Right here, here's some Dusty Miller. This is a, a plant people use for ground cover when they put it in their gardens. Um, and you can see right here, just starting to come up. There's a couple in here. And normally it'd take a couple extra days for these to come up, but because of the germination greenhouse, everything comes up super fast. Just giving you an update. Daniel's working on the last tray of cabbage. So this is all the cabbage we've seeded so far. And this is all stuff that we're gonna plant in the fields ourselves, and we'll be picking this crop and selling it in our farm market. Now we're moving on to broccoli. We've got four different varieties we're gonna plant here. We're planting Green Magic, Asteroid, Millennium, and Avenger. Now the reason why we're planting four different varieties is because right here, I don't know if you can see this, the days from transplant. This is a 60 day variety and we have an 80 day variety. The reason why we plant different days of broccoli is we don't want it to all come in and be ready to harvest at one time because we won't be able to sell it all and it will go to seed and we'll waste it. broccoli and I just wanted to show you this was the dirt that we have in the bottom this is that peat moss mixture then after we put the seeds in uh, we take this soil and we put it on top of it I don't know what the properties of it are but I just know it's better for germination we finished up the broccoli now we're working on this cauliflower We got all our cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage planted. Now I have to water them. There we go, we got everything watered. And I won't do it right now because it's still it's still light out, but at night we'll take this plastic and we'll roll it over the top. Because remember there's these little pipes that are giving heat off from underneath and that's what will help keep that 75 degrees on these plants at all times. And with the plastic over the top, that will help out a lot. And what normally would take a lot longer if you plant it in the ground, because we're planting this way, and with this germination greenhouse, it'll go from this to this in under a week. So it's two days later and we're back in the greenhouse where we planted the cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower and we have some progress. 